uh, just over her left shoulder here. And uh, when I was uh, first getting to know her, and after I had an opportunity to see this tattoo, if you know what I mean, <laughs> uh, I asked her about it. Uh, I said, that's a very nice tattoo. And she, and she went, ugh. It was one of these things. She was, when, she was, when she was younger, she wanted to have a tattoo. She liked the idea of a tattoo. But uh, she got it before she really had anything in particular that she wanted. So she went to the tattoo store <laughs> and uh, looked, through the, looked through the book of designs, like the, like the book of uh, uh, boys' haircuts that they have at the barbershop. <laughs> And she picked, picked one, that one, and then they put it on her skin, and then she was like, ah, shit. It's gonna be there forever, and I don't even care about those vines and flowers. Um, so she's, it's always kind of bothered her, and of course, over the, over the years, as tattoos do, it's gotten, gotten all kind of smushed, and the colors faded to each other. It just like, looked, looked like a gray blob over her shoulder. Um, and when she turned 40, she wanted to mark the occasion in some way, and so, uh, she went back to the tattoo parlor and she had them tattoo quotes around the window. <laughs> so now it is the idea of a tattoo, which is exactly what she wanted the whole time. I thought that was a nice metaphor, and I was thinking about tattoos and things, and I wrote this song, and it's called Your Tattoo. Fox. 